Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. I actually have two pieces in today and they're both uh, for the same thing and they're both by the same company uh, and that is Lee. Uh, these are both, as you can see, for bullet molding. Uh, now this one here is specifically, it's not uh, bullets like for example, uh, the actual bullets like a, uh, a nine millimeter or 45 or anything like that. Uh, this is actually for shotguns. Uh, I have gotten some stuff to load my own shotguns and whatnot, uh, my shotgun shells. And so I went ahead and I got some of these pieces here. Now, uh, this is a thing where it comes in two pieces. You've got the mold itself, and then you've got the handles. Uh, that go with it and uh, so here we go um, as you can see the mold it's a few pieces here uh, you have this handle here no this handle is not for the mold itself this is actually for cutting off the sprues um, obviously these are the chambers that you pour your uh, lead in and uh, these are aluminum molds so uh, if you're trying to make it out of something else. Um, as long as it's only temperature of lead, you know, six, seven hundred degrees, maybe 800 degrees um, Fahrenheit, uh, you should be fine. But if you're trying to uh, make something else, uh, something at a higher temperature, well, aluminum only goes up to a certain temperature and uh, you know, you're definitely not going to be casting super hot materials in this. Uh, but uh, anyhow, so this is uh, cuts off your sprues as well as it also locks the two pieces of the die together. So when you take and open it up, you rack it like that and that pulls it apart and cuts the sprues off. And then when this is inside or the handle is inside here, which as you can see, there's two holes right there those align with these screws that screw in from the bottom. So this would fit on just like that, but the screw holes would be inside those. And so then this would open up this way. Now this one right here, as you can see, there's uh, six chambers and there's three small balls uh, or spheres. And again, like I said, this is for shotgun. This is for number four uh, buckshot. So these are roughly, if I remember right, I believe they're uh, 0.25, so a quarter of an inch in diameter. Uh, so you've got uh, those, and yes, okay, you can do different sizes and whatnot uh, to each their own in terms of which type of shot they want to use. If they want to use, you know, size four, or if you want to use double odd or triple odd buckshot. That's fine, whichever one you want to use. I like using this, um, less chance of pass through. Uh, so, you know, if you have bigger rounds, um, they hold the energy better in a sense, and you have more of a chance of passing through your target rather than going into it and, and, and just causing the damage to the target that you're shooting at. Uh, but that's, that's to each their own. You guys can leave your comments down there in the comment section below uh, as to your preference or whatever. Uh, now, Lee has been around for years. They have, uh, they have, they've been doing this for, uh, well, like I said, they've been doing it for years. I believe my dad, when I was a child, had a, uh, a Lee loader uh, set up. And um, so, I, you know, they've been around for uh, quite a while, I think, even when he was young, um, his, his, my grandfather, his dad, I think may have even had one. So, uh, you know, it's pretty decent quality, um, and it's a simple setup, uh, simple heat, heat it up. I sit there, heat mine up. I can, I started off heating it up with a blowtorch using a steel ladle, used, uh, some shot that I had, some actual small shot, like bird shot. And I would heat that up until it was molten, and then I would pour it into some of some castings that I made myself, um, made lead sinkers and stuff like that for fishing. Um, no different. This is just going to be a lot more quality and a lot more uh, of a finished product than you know maybe sitting there and just drilling a hole into 
something and, and pouring it that way. Uh, you've got, of course, your instructions here. Uh, very simple, single sheet right there. Uh, it shows you what you do with how to uh, pour the sprue uh, type idea where it cuts through the fact that it locks it together and uh, the other things. It does talk about right here, as you can see a fan, it talks about good ventilation. When you're melting lead, you do want to be careful with that because the lead fumes are not good for you. So you do want to do that in a well ventilated area, just like whenever you're heating up pretty much anything, um, you know, that comes to do with metals and things like that. Uh, there can be some impurities even that are in those uh, that are not good for us. Uh, so be a little bit caustic or something and uh, you don't really want to breathe that in. So uh, make sure you follow the instructions for these. Uh, and then if you're using this for loading, well, if you're using it for loading anything, doesn't matter if it's shotgun shells, uh, rifle rounds, pistol rounds, or anything else, um, make sure you pay attention, of course, to all of the safety requirements for those. Don't overpack it with uh, with uh, powder. Uh, make sure you're using, according to the powder that you're using, you're using the right amounts and everything. Please be very safe with that. Uh, we definitely don't want to see people getting hurt. Having things like this, using it for hunting or just target shooting, uh, that can all be uh, either fun for target shooting, hunting, it's great for, of course, uh, maybe feeding your family. Uh, and those, those are great things, but we don't want to see people getting injured because of improper loading procedures. Uh, so please make sure to look those kinds of things up. Uh, there are lots of videos out there. I'm sure that you can check this out. I've seen some some of these videos. It's actually what kind of got me into doing this. Uh, so if you guys want to check these out, the links for these will be down there in the description below. Uh, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media. Uh, I've got Facebook and all that stuff. You can click on the link tree and the link tree will take you to any of it, um, as well as some additional things that aren't down there. Uh, there's also that PayPal link. If you'd like to help out the channel, it's definitely appreciated. It helps me get some of these products to show you guys. Uh, some of these things I do give away to people as well. So uh, maybe here in the future, we'll have some of these products uh, as an actual giveaway. Um, let me know what you think about that down there in the uh, comments below. Also, uh, there is that thumbs up button. Definitely appreciate when you hit that as well as there is the subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. It helps out the channel as well as when you do that and you hit that bell icon, well, then you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. That'll do it for me today, guys. My name's Cougar. This has been another episode from the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day and I'll see you later. Bye.